You're gonna die when you see that clip. Dive. You look like such a beluga. <laughs> Bye, Mark. Chef Alana strikes again. <laughs> What's for breakfast today? So for breakfast we have cheesy toast with an egg made the way you like it. And we've made some coffee, some flat, instant flat whites of course. Mark added more instant coffee to his because he was up late editing the vlog. But we just finished up at the hot pools and it was so amazing. Definitely our favorite natural hot springs we've ever been to. Yeah, so I'm ready to sit down and enjoy this. Mm. Thank you, Elena. Mm. It's You're delicious. We finished breakfast. We're all cleaned up. Did all the dishes in our little sink. We made some extra coffees for the road with these cute little lids. And uh, just finishing up uploading the vlog. This is kind of my workstation in the van. Running on the leisure battery down there. It's, it's proving to be pretty awesome. I'm hot spotting using my phone to upload this. It's at 90% almost there, and then we're gonna take off and head a bit south. Today's mostly a driving day. We're just making our way to Wellington because tomorrow, pretty early, I think eight o'clock in the morning, we're catching the Wellington to Picton Ferry so that we can go to South Island while it's still warm. We were looking for a little like stretch your legs kind of hike while driving to Wellington, and we found the White Cliffs boulders <laughs> which is about halfway. Well, it turns out you have to drive on this insane gravel road to get here. So it was like way more stressful <laughs> than just like casually getting out and stretching our legs. So Campermate, which is the app that has all the free camping, also has things to do. So I found it on Campermate and people leave comments to let you know like what it was like, they liked it, all that stuff. Well, no one in the comments mentioned the drive up here, which was insane. People drive this, Mark. There's a gate here that's to the car park. You open up this gate and you drive down this like, look, there's a van doing it. That. It's I just like down this road. The whole road on the way up was basically like this with this little fence and then over a cliff. I don't know about you, Alana, but my legs are feeling stretched and so are my nerves, I think. <laughs> but there's actual, all that driving, I'm like shaking. There's like a straight up van down there, bigger than our van, so we could have made it, but. <laughs> I think you would have broken down. I, I think so. you would have broken down before our van did. I was already <laughs> close enough to breaking down. <laughs> Uh, we've reached one of those New Zealand traffic jams. They said there'd be many hazards along this hike, and I think we've encountered our first one. Hiya guys, how's your afternoon going? As per usual, I am like the least prepared for this. I guess just us in general, but mostly me, I'm in like, my Crocs and heavy, like, brown jeans. Frickin' nailed it. We just ran into the people who own this property, and they are the sweetest people ever. Her name so is nice. Bronwyn, um, and her husband and her family owned it. They've owned it for, I think she said five generations? Five generations and this the family. trail has been open for 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. But as of recently, they uh, have been getting a little bit more popularity because it's on camper mates. Someone put it up there. And so the word is starting to get out. They've never advertised it themselves or anything like that. But super, super nice people. And we had a lovely chat with Bronwyn before walking through here. This forest fully looks like it's out of Lord of the Rings. Hey 
Need help? Every good boyfriend will help you get off a boulder. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Time to head back to the car, but we would 100% recommend this hike to anyone. Not only because the actual destination of these rocks and everything is really cool, but even like hiking up to it is such a peaceful walk, you know, on, on their farmlands. Such nice people would definitely recommend. All right, Alana, I don't know if you could tell, but I was pretty skeptical of this hike at first because of the road and everything. You win though, it was a really, really awesome hike. It was amazing. Nicely done on choosing this hike. And your wool. Oh, it's so soft. Is it? It's not really not that soft. Well, I mean, should we add it to our mattress? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anything would make that softer. <laughs> So we have gotten to our campsite for the night and there is a giant slide. So that needs to happen before we do anything else. This is huge. <laughs> what? Literally behind you is a thing saying max four up to 14. <laughs> That sounds about right. All right, I'm bored of pushing you. I'm going on this slide again. <laughs> My hands are falling. <laughs> My pants are falling down. <laughs> Children here have it sweet. Everything is just massive. <laughs> we are cooking up. What are we cooking up? Piesta. Piesta? Mm hmm. Ignore the mess that is the van We're right trying to now. get rid of this bin and we don't have anywhere to put it. It's huge and we don't use it for anything, so that won't be there forever. But look! Peppers! Vegetables. Or ca capsicums, mm -hmm. as they're called here. Alright guys, that's the end of the vlog. Thanks if you made it this far. If you liked it, then consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. Bye! I'm fading. Good night. <laughs>